Welcome to our multi-part video series on getting to know your microbit. In this series, we will look at what a microbit is, an introduction to basic programming, and give you some practical applications that you can program your microbit to do. A microbit is a pocket-sized computer that is 70 times smaller and 18 times faster than the original microcomputers used in schools. The front of the microbit has two programmable inputs, an A and a B button, that can be used to control games or pause and skip songs on a playlist, or control the LED array. The LED array is a 5x5 grid of red LEDs that can scroll messages or icons. On the back of the microbit you will see the hardware, the processor, the compass, accelerometer, access to the pins, and the power supply, as well as the reset button. Once you know your way around your microbit, you are ready to begin programming. To begin programming, you'll be using the MakeCode website or the microbit app on iOS or Android. Whether you're using an iPad, an Android device, or microbit.org, you will see that the inputs are very similar. You will see that we have a drag and drop ability to drag any of our triggers as well as any of our controls that we need in our microbit. For the first few videos we'll be using many of the basic blocks and the input blocks. As you expand your knowledge of different microbit techniques you'll be using different sets of blocks to put into your code. Don't forget to explore the advanced code options and find all the different pieces you can connect to your microbit. Now that you've had time to learn about the microbit and a little bit about the coding, be sure to familiarize yourself with the device and the coding site. In our next video, we're going to be spending some time learning the basics of coding and adding in a few extras like loops to help us create a more efficient and fast code.